Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Don't leave out Shinrin Yoku. We're bringing you a solar flare update tonight. M3.9 solar flare out of AR2822 happening just about 24 hours ago. An M-class solar flare reaching near the M4 level. M3.9 was just detected around the AR2822 in the northeast quadrant here. The event was associated with Type 2 and Type... Uh, for radio emissions, a sign that a potential CME is possible. We have telemetry and we have confirmation CME was produced. The region is not yet directly facing Earth. Therefore, the damage will be limited. In fact, almost non-existent. Here's that flare as this spot turns Earth-facing. In seven days, we will be in the crosshairs. Here is the current model coming from ISWA. Signet streamer, and you can see that massive plasma front moving just to the west of our Earth based on telemetry. But had that been facing Earth, well, it would have been a fun day in just a few days. AR2822, location north 18E70, spot count 5, area 130. There it is. We could take a close-up on the HMI continuum if I have it. Yeah, I have it brought up here. So this is the latest uh, position and morphology of that spot region. That's just turning around the limb. So tomorrow it'll be over here and day two, day three, and then day seven, earth facing. Now, if you want the very latest SOHO images or any of the solar and heliospheric observatory data sets, please come over to the Soho Movie Theater. That's what you want to click on over here at Soho. I will leave you links to the movie theater, and you can generate your own movies. So here we're going to look at uh, Lasco C2 Resolution 512 from May 5th through current. And I generated it, and now I have a movie. And it's going to be showing that coronal mass ejection in, in real time as it happens. So we can confirm if there was a CME. And oh, yes, there in fact was. Pushing off. And it looks like from a huge connective region that spans thousands of miles across the sun. So this is just going to replay again here right now. And so this is the CME coming up. Pushing out right here. Keep a close eye on it. It builds. It builds. And then there it is. Oh. And then it is off of our solar disk. Here we are looking at LASCO, C3, 512, from May 5th through current. And this is LASCO, C3. Almost looking from Earth, and you can see it blasting off to the left here. That's the coronal mass ejection to the left. So just a recap here for you folks that are just coming in. AR2822 popping off. An M-class solar flare reaching near the M4 level at M3.9 was just detected around AR2822 in the northeast quadrant. This will be moving Earth-facing for the next seven days, seven more days to get off the disk. So we're going to have a 14-day transverse movement. This is on the northern hemisphere as it moves across. The event was associated with Type 2 and Type 4 radio emissions, which we just confirmed for you is a coronal mass ejection here as modeled on ISWA, so, uh, Signet Streamer. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on the morphology of this spot as it moves across and potentially develops more coronal mass ejections for our viewing pleasure and potentially, well, the degradation of the grid. There it is. Boom! Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a magnetic excursion world. As the sun shuts down and we enter grand minima. Hope you got something out of the video. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, the people that share these videos. It's you that allows us to disseminate this information to the masses. And we love you for that. Boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it. Be safe.